Hey everybody, Swamp Rat here. Today's project is the new quad. I need to do some repairs on the pinion drive. That's the drive line on the quad is a, the front end is a pinion C 1.9 nine speed gearbox, which is right there kind of a specialized gearbox so it does require something a little different than usual um, wanted to give a little bit of a shout out finding parts for it was not the easiest thing in the world it's not something that's real common with with cyclists yet um, kind of a high-end part the C 1.9 usually runs just under a thousand dollars just for the front front drive unit on this bike um, I ended up looking around my local area couldn't find anybody that carried the shifter that I needed since the shifter was broken which is what we're gonna replace today um, and I ended up sending a message I also needed a dust cover for over the gearing you could see when I was showing you there was it was all the gears inside the little gears were exposed so I contacted Pinion North America and within 24 hours they had referred me to a shop for the shifter and they are mailing me the dust cover and not charging me for it so huge shout out to Pinion North America um, it's German engineered and German built gearbox so they do have the dust covers the I believe he's the project manor manager of Pinion North America sent me an email back referred me to another shop that's not in my area to get the parts um, they sent me a whole bunch of instructional videos on how to do this job so I was able to study those up it's not a super difficult job it does require some bicycle knowledge and the shop that they referred me to was phenomenal um, they actually got back to me got me the part here in less than a week about three days to get the new shifter in um, they are called they do a lot of online sales so if anybody's looking for a bike I do highly recommend them um, the website is Bike Man. They are located in Woolwich, Maine. I'll make sure I put a link to their site down in the description. Um, check them out if you need any bicycle parts, particularly specialty parts. They apparently have a lot, they're a dealer for a lot of very specialized bicycle equipment. Um, they do have standard things also, so that makes it really convenient. But anyways, let's get into this into this replacement of the shifter and that way we'll be able to get her out for a test run hopefully today. So first step in doing this, I did take the shifter off of the end piece. You can see how it's kind of busted up. That's not fixable, so We'll try to salvage what we can out of that, but I don't have very high hopes. Um, first thing we need to do is to get the universal shifter mount off of here. It requires an Allen key, which that's not an Allen key. There's my Allen key. I knew I had the part there. So it's just three bolts, one on the bottom. Pull that out. Let's take it in the tray. One. Two. 
and three. Now this should just slide right off as it does. I want to be careful not to knock any of these other ones off, but that pulls the shifter right off, the universal shifter right off of there. This will come out the back. Oh, we need to disconnect the cables too. So I should have done that part first. Grab that hex key. One bolt up there. Now I do have a replacement for all of this part, so I really don't need to save the pieces, but being a swamp rat that I am, I tend to save everything. That just slides right off. So there's an extra cover for me if I ever need it. Pretty busted up. It's all right. I'll put that into a position where I can get my hex key in there. This one is a little tricky. You've got to work the end cap out. There it is. You can see this just has a double piece on it. It's quite a bit smaller than what I expected. don't know if I've got a piece that will fit in there. I'll be damned. They included an, an extra one of those in the gearing, so that's convenient. like to save these hex ties if these ties if I can. I'll be right back. I gotta get another tool. I didn't have to go very far. It was in my pocket. Hmm. 
That one's too big too. I guess I'll have to go look in my tool chest. Beef. All right, I'm back. So, what we got here is a teeny tiny metric Allen key. Set that in our bucket. Pick this up. It's got two little clamps in there holding the wires in place. So nice thing we won't need a crimp tool, which is a usual tool that I need on a gearing job. We'll loosen that up. That just slides out. So we'll throw that in our bucket to keep it. Same thing on the on the other end. Loosen that one. Loosen that one. Slide that out. Now this should. Yep. Just pulls apart, just like that. We'll come back to this. There are some parts I want to save on this just in case things break in the future. Whoa. Well, it's a good thing that wasn't something that's required. What is that? Well, look at that. They actually provide the tool that I needed. I don't know how I missed that. Good to know. Oof. That's pretty beat up. <clears throat> so. There's the damaged cable. We need to pull that one out. Step number one when working on this should always be get all your tools in one place. I did not do that. So, I have to clip this zip tie. Top cable's okay. Let's see. If we can fix this by just replacing the one cable.
screw cable out. I do have two cables just in case. But I don't think I need both of them for this job. Yeah, I do. I have to replace both cables since if we're going to do the job, we might as well do it right. Okay. So there's the external housing. That goes on right there. This is the internal geared piece. So there's our old cables. Throw those on that side. Grab one of our new ones. We'll run that one through that way. We run this one through in the opposite direction. They get one rotation each to so try to hold them in place here. Cable ends. Not always easy to keep a hold of these things. You want to make sure you don't kink your cables anywhere while you're doing this. Kink cables on a bicycle will definitely mess it up. into place, put some tension on those, We're going to make sure our cables are not crossed, so I was trying to be cautious about that while I'm doing this. And that slides in just like that. Now, take our piece, our end piece, we're going to slide this back. 
into place, make sure our internal shifter gears are engaged. That is in place. It's actually easier than I thought it was going to be. start when I'm putting things in circularly with the top one since I can see that fairly easy bring that over so I got the top one in now we'll get the bottom one in That gives us all three of those. Now, our shifter's gonna go like this, so it will tighten by, I believe, pulling the top one. top guide cable in place. And it did provide That will actually slide right into there. I think this is in its lowest position right now, which is where it needs to be. Yep, that was in the lowest position. Which is just not the easiest thing to shift when it's not set on the bike. But I do need to pull this back to low position. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's the lowest position right there. So we want this in first gear while we're doing the the first one at least. 
take the cover off of my new one. Gotta think about something. Alright guys, a little bit of a fast forward there. I forgot to hit record again. We got the shifter in place. Now we need to trim the cables. So, we will trim this cable here. Shift it. If I can. And this cable comes out here, so we'll do a trim right. There. Now the disadvantage on this setup is it's on the wrong side. It should technically, with a pinion gearbox, your pinion shifter should be on the right hand side. However, being on this bike, it doesn't fit that way. Hmm. Six. Perfect. So if we got that in place right, we'll need our cover. With that. Now we're just pretty much putting things back together. I'm trim those back a little bit more. They're kind of in my way.
and get this other one trimmed back, guys. And then we'll get her out for a test run. I'll get everything back together and I'll show you how she's running. All right, so test running, shifting through the gears, appears to be working. Awesome, happy rat. 